for as frustrating as it was and as disappointing as it was um this is not going to be the gloom and doom episode um this is not gonna be you know everybody sucks fire everybody um it's just not it's not just not where my energy is right now and look we're all fans out there if if you've gone through the season and you feel right now like everybody needs to get fired they need to rip it down to the studs fine like that's that's cool um it's just not where i'm at right now um i feel like for a season that started with such high expectations um the way it went the way the ups and downs of it um just the way the season went i feel like this last game of the season was the embodiment of of the whole season um i think the team was fortunate to get there um you know not like it was a gift to them they did have to go on a tear to even you know make the playoffs um but just kind of playing the dolphins in the last game of the season and it basically being if you won you were forget about the seeding it was you know winning in um how many teams do you have huge expectations for that need the last week of the season, you know, to make sure they make it into the playoffs? Um, and I get there was a lot of circumstances leading up to that, and they really were playing, you know, the best ball that we saw this season going into that game against the Chiefs. Um, at a certain point, the issue that issues that we had all throughout the season that we were, you know, scrapping and clawing to overcome sometimes you know, with a dramatic loss, sometimes barely winning. Um, the issues that plagued this all season showed up in that Chiefs game. And and honestly, looking at it objectively, taking a step back, um, it's not even issues that were kind of really gone during that last, you know, winning streak. There, there were still some issues there. They were just overcoming it. Um, and we talked so many times throughout the season of like, yep, they got they got away with a couple in this one, but you know, when it comes to the playoffs, you're not going to get away with the same stuff. Um, it it came back here, and um, simple things, you know, we see in the Pittsburgh game, Tyler Bass missed a field goal, have one blocked, and I mean, this game comes down to a forty something yard attempt for Bass to tie it up. Um, Yes, I expect my kicker to make that kick. Um, you need that from your kicker in this modern NFL. Um, especially, you know, he's top fit, top five paid kicker in the league. Um, but saying it all comes down to that and, you know, he costs us the game and everything, it's just not the case. I mean, there was some play calling in there I didn't like. There was some execution I didn't like. And it's all these things that add up together. Um end up where we are and really throughout the season the biggest glaring issues the Bills had for me um, was just kind of lack of a deep threat receiver on offense um, defensively just battling injuries all year um, and then just special teams blunders at the worst times um, so I mean I was kind of excited going into this playoffs because we saw like these other teams getting banged up going into it and you know right as the season was ending we were getting healthy um Daquan Jones comes back you know uh Razul Douglas looked like he was going to be you know ready to go this game Terrell Bernard was on the fence um but, but going into the playoffs we were like finally getting healthy and then just between Miami and Pittsburgh like we just got decimated again and Injuries are going to be part of every season, unfortunately. Um, it's something that you have to overcome. But I mean, looking at a game where we've already lost Milano for the season, um, Dodson was on the fence about playing. Um, Balen Spector was his backup. He got hurt. Dodson got hurt for a while in this game. Um, AJ Klein, uh, I believe he got hurt a little bit, but, you know, he was on his couch getting ready for family vacation he comes in against Pittsburgh and he's the hero and against the Chiefs you know a veteran quarterback 
like Mahomes, uh, stud tight end and Travis Kelsey, they they abused him. They took advantage of him. And these aren't excuses. I'm not I'm not justifying, you know, any reasons that the Bills lost. Just kind of talking through it. Um, because despite all that, the Bills had chances to win this game. Um, the defense... The defense got absolutely decimated in this game. The, the defense was not good. Um, that being said, when push came to shove, they they gave the Bills offense two chances to control that game. And the one was Hoyer forcing the fumble like right at the goal line from Hardman. Um, you know, not only did the Chiefs not get any points there, but it gave the offense the ball back. And then... I believe we weren't able to do anything with that position. Defense came up with another big stop, and you know here we here we are. There was chances to win this game. Um, you know we have Trent Sherfield in there instead of Gabe Davis. Um, as much hate as Gabe gets, as much as you know, I I personally am all for letting Gabe walk. Um, you know we have two shot plays to. Uh, sure field that he's not able to haul in would davis get him i don't know davis has had you know some unsure hands um himself but as far as like the guy that can make the plays out of structure down the field um gabe davis has been that guy um in some instances and we even saw Diggs with you know whatever that that ball was like 75 in the air from josh allen and it goes right through um Diggs hands and that that's another big play I've seen a lot of criticism for Brady and his play calling in this game and you know not having the big explosive plays um this is how good smart defenses are going to defend the Bills right they're it's what the Bills defense does to you know other teams with electric players and to stop the explosives we we do it against Tyreek Hill in Miami um it's that you know, cover two, keep everything in front of you and come up and tackle and you limit the explosive plays. And, you know, so much criticism for Josh Allen and his decision making this year um, for his, you know, ball security. Josh Allen, in my opinion, played this game about as good as we could have asked for. He was effective on the ground. Um, he made good decisions with the ball he didn't put the ball in danger um the one it keeps seeing flash up constantly is um towards the end of the game where he misses Shakir in the end zone and you see Diggs you know running free underneath um looks like it would have been a pretty easy first down when you rewatch that play a couple times that pass was thrown with so much anticipation that was going to hit Shakir right on the numbers and one nobody's having the conversation about Diggs was open for a first down um if we score on that play right and you know Josh Allen gets bumped in the pocket as he's releasing it and makes the ball come up a little short and I I think Tony Romo was even on um on the play-by-play saying you know if the Bills lose this game remember this play right here this will be the reason why and you know, there's there's so many other factors that go into a game that you can't just boil it down to one play. But here we are talking about, you know, we had a check down option open there that would have gotten the first down. Well, if it, it goes the other way too, right? So if if Josh Allen hits that check down to Diggs and whatever, we don't end up scoring on that drive and say the game ends with the same result. Well, now we're going to be sitting, you know, behind the screens looking at oh well look at look at how he could have had Shakir open on on this one here so you know it, it's always playing the results and you know did 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 Allen go with a little bit of a riskier play to try to get that touchdown yeah that's what Josh Allen does that's why we love Josh Allen that's what makes him so incredible is he he threads these needles he makes these ridiculous plays um, that other people won't roll the dice on. Um, that's the balls he has. That's what makes him special. 